and the knights. We need to talk. This is not going to be a vlog video like we've done before. This is not going to be, um, this is not going to be a happy, fun video. I do apologize for that. However, I feel that there's something that I need to talk to you about. Not about me in particular. More about you. I understand that some of my audience may be suffering from depression. And I'm not talking about the regular kind of depression. I'm talking about clinical or chronic depression. The kind of depression that people need to be medicated for. The kind of depression that leads to people taking their own lives. This is not a laughing matter. It's not a joking matter. It's not something that you can simply tell someone to stop being sad. It's not what people think it is. Serious chemical depression is something that you wake up with every single day. It is something that you fight every single day. And oftentimes, it's something that the people around you, sometimes even the people closest to you, either don't know you have or don't fully understand. Now, you can't expect everyone to understand exactly what you're going through. You will always get people who just give you the stigmatized responses like just stop being sad. Stop being such a downer. Stop being so self-centered. Look around you. You have a family who loves you. You've got, you know, money. You've got a wife. You've got children. You've got whatever. Real, clinical, or chronic depression is not about what you have. It can be tied to a lot of things. Your self-worth is usually the biggest one. I can sit here and I can give you very nice quotes about self-worth that may help you and make you feel better for a day or two. But you and I both know that if you are suffering the way that I suffer, it'll only be a matter of time before your brain starts to work against you again. When you have a serious issue like depression, it's like being caught almost in a whirlpool. Picture being a spider in a toilet. Now you can fight and you can fight once someone has flushed that toilet and you can get almost to safety. But at the end, no matter how you try, without help, you will end up being flushed. You will end up at the bottom. That's why it's so very important that if you are suffering from depression, that you reach out for help. Whether it be a school guidance counselor, a parent, a psychiatrist. Beating depression is not something that can be done alone. There's no shame in asking for help. 
there is also no shame in not taking no for an answer. Many people throughout my life have told me, no, you don't have a problem. You'll be okay. Just give it time. Often time without help can lead to other problems. It can lead to alcoholism because temporarily that may distract you from the bigger problem. But it will create problems of its own. Just like substance abuse, many people turn to that. That's not a pretty road either. In the end, all I can do is give you the advice that if you are having issues with depression or anything that you feel might be depression related, any mental health issues, please reach out for help. It doesn't have to be the end of the world. And it doesn't have to be the end of you. I have lost more people than I care to count to depression. And I don't necessarily mean that they killed themselves, okay? Um, sometimes, yes, people do kill themselves because of a depression. But all too often, whether it's you experiencing the depression or someone else, you can lose them. You can, you can lose people because you shut them out. You can lose people because they themselves don't understand what you're going through. You can lose people because they shut you out. I don't want this to be a preachy video. I don't want to be that kind of YouTuber. But I do beg. I implore you. That if you feel that you could use help, ask for it. In the description of this video, you will find, um, you will find information, a link to a website, possibly a phone number, that you can call if you need help. I always try to be here for people and I would love to say I can be here for everyone on the internet but I can't scale that way I suffer from depression too and often I can't be here for myself as stupid as that sounds you can always feel free to drop me a line I can't necessarily guarantee you that I'll be able to respond or respond with anything useful. But what I can do is I can give you the resources down below so that you can start on the road to getting better. I've been on medication on and off to help with my depression for years for years and it helps it's not necessarily a magic bullet a lot of it is training and therapy and that's okay it's not a bad thing to ask for help it doesn't make you self-centered it doesn't make you a bad person. It makes you human. 
and don't listen to anyone who tells you anything else. Please get help.